Randy Pierce is one of the people who has been at the absolute center of the effort to help businesses survive this period that we have gone through. It's been a long haul. A lot has happened. A lot more still has to be done. Randy, what are the efforts that the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce is focusing on right now to hopefully get us to the finish line on this thing? Great. Well, thank you, Joe. First of all, thank you to you uh, and Neil for all the work that you're doing just to sort of tell the story. I mean, uh, small businesses throughout Brooklyn, throughout New York City uh, are really, really at a, in a precarious situation right now. Um, and, you know, many of our small businesses, uh, if they did receive a paycheck protection program loan sometime during uh, the early summer, they've exhausted that loan. So there isn't a lot of other support available. One thing we are really working on uh, is just general recovery. And we're doing that by putting uh, feet on the street, boots on the ground, however you want to call it, uh, through a New York City Small Business Resource Network. Uh, so we're part of actually a five borough initiative uh, with our partner chambers. Uh, led by uh, the Partnership for New York City and Kathy Wild, uh, and uh, managed uh, uh, by in part uh, through through EDC, uh, who manages a clearinghouse of pro bono resources. So we're the ones that actually go out into the community. Our staff goes out into the community, goes out into the neighborhoods, goes out to the commercial corridors, connects with small businesses where they're at. Uh, ascertains what type of support that they need. Do they need, you know, marketing assistance? Do they need access to technology? Do they need point of sale devices? Do they need access to financing? Do they need legal assistance? Uh, like, for example, uh, renegotiating leases. These are some of the, the more common requests that we get. Uh, but then we connect them to this clearinghouse that uh, EDC manages. And it's all through the New York City Small Business Resource Network. Uh, which is a, a citywide initiative. So uh, that's, uh, that's really focused on business recovery right now. So you are sending chamber members out, knocking on doors, so to speak, but yeah. right calling. They're going out to the businesses, Randy, physically? Yeah, yeah they're actually called, they're our staff and they're called uh, business recovery specialists. So we have uh, on staff five generalists. So these are uh, recovery specialists who can work with any type of business. Uh, and then we have one specialist that just focuses on uh, restaurants and bars. Uh, and she, uh, her name's Nicole Biscardi. Uh, she's an expert in terms of, of the regulations and, uh, you know, and the guidelines with respect to restaurants. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a big part of what these recovery specialists do. They go out, they talk to the businesses, they sort of ascertain uh, what are the challenges they're facing and then try and connect them to the right information. Uh, and the right resources, either through the clearinghouse, uh, internally through the chamber, through some of our financing partners. Uh, this is some of the work that uh, that they're doing. And, and we've done, uh, since phase one reopening, 27 commercial corridor tours. So we've been out and about uh, in almost every uh, corner uh, of the borough, uh, really kind of connecting with these small businesses. Look, they're, they're trying to survive. Uh, they're trying to kind of, uh, you, you know, interpret uh, the regulations that seem to change every day. Uh, they're they're just trying to keep afloat, uh, you know, to ha to know that they have someone who can really be their eyes, their ears, and their voice. Uh, that's the role of the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce. They must be bringing back to you some stories uh, that you are amazed to hear that, that you've never heard before of how tough yeah. things. What from these meetings? Uh, Joe, some of this is hard, and and if, forgive me if I get a little emotional when I talk about these things. We've heard from on, you know one end of the spectrum. We've talked we've talked to businesses, business owners who've invested you know much of their life uh, in building their business, uh, and and they're teetering uh, on the brink. Uh, on the other hand, on the other side of the, uh, the other end of the spectrum, we hear these amazing stories of resiliency, uh, cooperation, partnership, uh, and innovation. Right, we've got small businesses who overnight. Uh, launched an at-home delivery service, or uh, you know, created uh, an, an e-commerce uh, component to what they do. We've had businesses that partner with other businesses in the neighborhood to cross-sell each other's products. You know, the hardware store that's selling uh, homemade tomato sauce from uh, from yeah. Michaels, right? So, I mean, look, th th it's it's all over the place. But I will say this: um, you know, Brooklyn businesses, there's just something super, super special about them. Uh, these business owners are resilient. They're tough. Uh, they're creative, uh, and and they they need some help and support, but but we're there to to kind of give them you know both the moral support and then connect them to those resources that could really uh, get them through this hard time. 
Now, what do you use some of the funds from Investors Bank Foundation yeah. to do this is Randy? Well, that, the Investors Bank Foundation has been a longtime partner with the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce. You know, prior to COVID, uh, they actually underwrote uh, some very important initiatives for us, including our not-for-profit summit. So our ability to kind of bring uh, information and best practices to the not-for-profit community, very big and important community in Brooklyn. Uh, they've helped uh, underwrite our newsmaker series. Our newsmaker series was really focused uh, on bringing, uh, you know, borough-wide or important and influential speakers uh, to the table. Uh, so that they could talk about, you know, what's going on, uh, you know, in 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 their respective world. So, for example, Congressman uh, Hakeem Jeffries uh, was a newsmaker. We've had economists on the newsmaker series talking about sort of macro trends in the Brooklyn economy. Uh, recently, uh, they were big supporters of our Bring Back Brooklyn Fund. So that was our crowdfunding campaign. Uh, through our CDFI, our Community Development Financial Institution, to raise funds uh, for grants and loans, no interest loans for small businesses. So they were a very big supporter of that Bring Back Brooklyn Fund campaign. Uh, they were one of our major corporate sponsors. Uh, and that really helps us to actually deliver uh, grants and loans directly to the businesses, grants that could be used for uh, PPE, for personal protection equipment, uh, no interest loans, recovery loans uh, for businesses uh, to cover overhead, payroll, you name it. Well, Randy, I'm glad to hear that you have started what you call the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce Recovery Team, because I think that this is the first time I've heard the term recovery team. Mm. Yeah. And hopefully that is where we are headed to. So thank you for everything that you've done uh, at the Chamber not just for the businesses, but for all the business owners' families. Yeah, uh, my pleasure, Joe. Joe this is uh, I'm blessed to do this work, and I'm, I'm listen. I'm a Brooklyn kid, uh, born and raised here. My heart and soul is in this borough, and we're gonna we're gonna fight this through. We're gonna get past COVID. We're gonna our economy is gonna rebound, and these businesses are gonna come back.